many Congolese, it has been a long wait. And Sunday marks the day that over 40 million people will go to the polls to vote on who will be their next president. The anticipation is high. We want a new Congo. We shall go and vote. But Sunday's election will be the DRC's first presidential ballot in seven years. The prospects of a stable election have been pushed into doubt because of some concerns about credibility. The electoral body further pushed the vote from December 23rd to the 30th, citing the loss of election materials in a fire at a Kinshasa warehouse. Opposition candidates were not pleased by the decision, but called on their supporters to remain calm. I'm requesting you to be calm. Let's wait for the 30th of December and vote to change the government. Don't lose focus of our mission. The electoral body here will for the first time use electronic voting machines. Opposition has insisted that the votes are counted by the ballot. 21 candidates are vying to succeed Joseph Kabila, the exiting president, however, more than pleased with his 17-year tenure. 18 years ago, the Congo was uh, just a name. Uh, the Congo was uh, a multitude of uh, areas and uh, the occupation of a country, occupation of an armed group, uh, until 2001, when we managed to, to reunify the country. The front runners in the presidential race are the ruling parties Emmanuel Ramazani Shadari, the opposition's Martin Fayulu, and Felix Tshisekedi. Presidential results will be announced on the January the 15th. The winner will be sworn in three days later. It could be the first time since gaining independence 58 years ago that this country will have a peaceful transfer of power. Leon Sanyangi CGTN, Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo.